Good morning, investors. Woo. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, my heart is hurting. It's blood in the streets. Do you not see it? The vampires are wickedly biting everybody today in almost every sector. But that's okay. Because what does it mean on a bloody day? Do you know what it means? Do you know what it means? Yes, it might look like your portfolio is taking a left, right, left, left, right from Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson biting on your ears and all that good stuff. But investors, 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 when you know what you got, you hold. When you know what you got, you hold. Days like this is when you have a sale. It's Christmas in these streets right now and we in February. It's snow outside. It's snow outside. So what does that mean? Don't be paying attention to my scene. I'm doing some renovations up in here. So what does that mean? It's blood in these streets and it's snow outside. So act like it's Christmas. Again, and let's go ahead and enjoy this ride. Let's take a look at my portfolio today and see what we got going on today, y'all. It's bloody in these streets. I'm going to go to my screenshot and... Hey, I'm back with the screen record tool. Oh my goodness. As I was saying, it's bloody out here, y'all. Let's take a look and see what we got going on. And take a look at some of the changes that I've made over the last week. It's been a bad week all week, but you know what? It's all good. Let's take a look at my Webull account. All right. Here we are sitting at a whopping 22,572. You see it. It's changing. It's going up. So I've made some major changes this week. You know, um, I wound up... I haven't touched OEG. I wound up selling off almost 4,000 shares of my ZOM so that I could get into other plays. I needed to, needed to diversify my account. You know, and I started taking a look at some of the things that Royce Jacobs was saying and a few of the things that uh, stock up with Larry Jones and Chris saying. Also, yeah, the notifications are going off, but we're not worried about that. But nonetheless, I ain't taking nobody nowhere. Skip, skip you Lyft, skip you Uber. You know, kick, kick rocks. But nonetheless, let's take a look at what we've done. So we got back into Mara. We got back into Sundial. We're into Zoom Lay now, XNet, SRNE. We're still holding Golden Nugget, although we've reduced our hold on that significantly because I wanted to have an opportunity to be able to buy other things, and we are still in IDEX. So with that being said, you know, even though the market's down, I can still look at my performance and show that I am still up. I am still up. I am still up. So I'm still playing with the house's money. So you guys have to understand, days like this are, 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 are opportunities to buy red. Today, what did I buy? I bought some more Zumedica. I bought some more Mara, and I bought some more Sundial. So... That's on this account. Let's go to Robinhood. Robinhood, Robinhood, Robinhood. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But it's okay. As, as, as I said, again, we're playing with the house's money at this point. So a day like this, you're not going to be too much crying about it. Because when you look at the week, the monthly, am I still up? Am I still up? Yes, I am. And as long as we are still in the green on the whole of the things, then we can call it what we want. Now, one of the things that I did, I messed up on this here Ally Options call. I should have sold it two days ago, but I'm hoping that um, by tomorrow something will pop off and I'll be able to make some of my money back on that. SNDL, I'm still holding those options. Um, BNGO, I'm still holding those options. Macy's, Macy's, Macy's. I swear on Jesus Sanders, I'm trying to hold out on Macy's, trying to hope that it gets back to... Uh, to twenty twenty two twenty three dollars and I have a sale order waiting on that but clean energy I'm still holding on to 25 shares of that sundial I increased my holdings back to that when the market was low and then I have 30 more shares of Xnet over here the biggest the biggest holding right now on this page is my Bitcoin I bought almost eight thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin uh two hundred twenty dollars worth of ET ETC Okay, so with that being said, we're really, really bullish on some of the things to come. Again, the red days are the days that you're going to buy as much as you can. As you guys see, I don't have any buying power in this account, but I'm going to hopefully uh, remedy that situation within the next day or so. So, major changes on my Ameritrade. Ameritrade, I am down a whopping $4,211. But guess what? I ain't crying. Not at all. Because I know what I have. I know what I have. Now, here I am 
all in, 100% all in on Amaya Ameritrade in ALYI. I am bullish on this company. Right now, you guys are looking at that negative $4,000 and saying, oh, hell no, I ain't no way in hell I'll be this, blah, 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 blah. But I'm telling you, when this pops, this here little $4,000 is going to be nothing to the gains that I make. If it gets back to $0.12, cents, $0.18, cents, this is going to be $30,000 in profits. Now, one of the things that I did today is I increased my shareholdings today about 5,000 shares today. So um, I had 52,839, now I have 57,830. So we're going to take a look at the position news. Nothing has came out, but I'm heavily bullish on, on this company. You know, um, Royce has... Um, high hopes and beliefs in this company. He has a high um, position in this company. And the big part about it is most of the YouTubers aren't talking about it yet. So when it gets to the point that everybody's talking about this stock and all of these here people, they have two weeks before the ICO comes out. When that ICO happens and Revolt Token um, is, is an actual physical thing and then they do decide to bring out the pictures of the bike, when they do decide to bring that uh, prototype out or whatever it is because they already have orders they have pre-orders already um already marked and earmarked so when that bike actually hit the market the whole investor sentiment is going to change and this company is going to take the f watch your mouth take off okay so as i stated before i wanted to have two hundred thousand shares of this here company before it hits 30 cents I am more than halfway there. If I could get myself up to a million shares, that's going to be beneficial to me. I know it's got, you know, as I say, you got to have tough skin to weather this storm. And it is a storm right now. Y'all don't believe me? Y'all don't believe the storm? Look outside. You see the news. Look at my, look at my Aurora. Bury this. Look at my Aztec. It's not playing. Don't pay attention to the scene. I keep telling y'all we renovating over here. Look, 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 look at the little sunfire. All that is nothing compared to the gains that I'm going to have down the line. See, I know what I got. I know what I own. I know who and what I'm investing in. Now, eventually, all these here little crybaby gains that I have are going to put in a position where I'm going to have myself a brand new Benz. That's my Benz. That's my Cadillac truck. And we out here covered. No. Woo. It's rough out here. But... With all that being said, I know I haven't posted in a couple of days. I've been working on snow blowers and getting other things together. And I was trying to honestly uh, get ready to go and take my daughter somewhere. But uh, nah, it's too rough out here. The weather's too bad. I got to go to my other house and um, blow the snow. I had to fix my snow blower yesterday. I got it sitting right here. And uh, it smells like acetylene gas. So with that being said, y'all, I'm on some DIY stuff. I will post the video um, of um, me fixing my snowblower a little bit later on today. And then we're getting ready to have us some croaker. We're going to have croaker today. But for breakfast, I'm having oatmeal, English muffins, and sausage. Y'all have a good day. Invest wisely. Learn how to have thick skin when it comes to these red days. Understand that these red days are days that you can buy things on sale. That's why I increased my Zoom. That's why I increased my Joomla uh, Xnet. That's why I increased my ALYI. So if um, I had another ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, guess what? I'd do the same. But in the same token, you also have to be responsible. I've got other bills to pay. i got to pay these taxes on these houses. i got to pay that child support. You know, I got hey, hey, hey. Good thing I have a regular career, too, where I make a great paycheck. So payday's Tuesday. Oh, am I kidding? I am acting like I ain't got money. in mean, Yeah, but, you know, nonetheless, payday Tuesday. Y'all have a good day. I holla. And investors, let's not forget to hit that like button. Share. Subscribe to my channel. Let's do what we have to do so that we can um, all become a community of investors and help each other out, okay? That like button really does a lot for my channel. So uh, let's, 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 let's hit that like button for me, please. All this work I'm doing for y'all, come on, hit the like button. Even if you don't like it, just hit the like button. It ain't going to hurt you nothing. It ain't going to cost you nothing. All right? Thank you very much. Let's get this money, y'all. Let's learn together. Let's live. Let's grow. And let's glow. I'll holler.